Thank you for joining us for our Cash or Trash episode. As always, we're going to say, fair warning and disclosure that this may anger a lot of people out there or maybe a few people. Whether you're a factory, manufacturer, an owner of any of these products, we're going to give you fair warning. Your discretion is advised. There may be some trash talk about some of this stuff here or good stuff. You never know. But uh, please make sure that you're aware of it. Hey everyone, it's Alan over at Cobblers Plus, like I mentioned. Uh, so today we're talking about some Louboutin Red Bottom sneakers. We're going to give them a cash or trash rating basically on these guys. So we'll jump right into it. We'll start out with material. Now material is going to be very tricky on these just because surprisingly the rubber soles on these are very durable, very good quality rubber. It's not a cheap PVC or anything like that. So it's, it's actually pretty nice. However, the uppers on these, they, uh, they're not all that great. You use a lot of synthetic materials, even that little toe cap there is still man-made and the back here, that suede section is a little questionable as well and then the rest of it's uh, neoprene type material. So not all that great on material, um, they've got leather insole and everything which is still kind of cool. We'd have to give those a 4 on material. Uh, build quality in the sneaker community, obviously these are actually very well built, we'll give them a 6 but when you're looking at other builds, even from Louboutin as well, these are kind of lower on the spectrum so we'll give them a six we'll be fair on build quality comparing it to other sneakers and tennis shoes out there and you know even on the luxury side perspective as well comfort uh, obviously comfort is always debatable i'd still give these a four just because the materials are soft and it's built kind of an athletic style build uh, so usually athletic shoes are a little easier on the foot to break in to wear than most other people uh, there are a few spots on here because these are neoprene after all that neoprene does not give this gentleman actually was actually requesting us for to stretch out this little area so we're going to stay under the halfway mark at a four rating on that support we'll stick to a four just because of the way that sole the rocker sole is built up that helps with a little bit of impact on walking but doesn't really have any kind of arch supports or anything like that collectability we'll have to put it at a seven on that because they're not quite collectible they're an available model they're not limited they're not rare or anything like that they're still around maybe down the road if you're watching this video these are no longer available and can be collectible but at the time of the recording uh, they're not like a crazy collection piece where it's only like one out of you know 400 pairs ever made type of thing they're they're collectible just because they're a red bottom obviously uh, recraftability we're gonna give them a two because there's not much that could be recrafted on it repairs will fall into that same category so my, minor things like scuffing here at the toe uh, maybe a stitch comes undone we can do that but it's not something that you can do yourself even the scuffing on these because these are synthetic there's limitations on what can be done it might not be perfect at 100 percent but it'll be a lot better than you just throwing some sharpie on there never use sharpie on black leather or even synthetics it turns out purple full disclosure uh let's see maintenance on them uh marcus even says it'd be about a six just because they're not too bad to maintain because again they're a synthetic uh, quite literally wiping it down with uh, a light cleaning solution waterproofing is going to be very important as always too or otherwise take it to a professional and get your regular maintenance on them just to get them cleaned up refreshed and you're back on the road again uh, for maintenance show off ability obviously we're going to have to give these a 10 they are red bottom and they've got you know little things like spikes here and there and stuff and they just look really crazy and unique and so whenever see anyone sees these even up here on the shelf or the table they're like what are those and uh Definitely, definitely a, a 10 for show off ability, I will put it. Price point, we're gonna obviously all know red bottoms are always in that luxury tier. So at this point, would, would I put this into the cash or trash category? I would honestly, because of the price point for these, I would have to put these in the trash category. I'm sorry, I'm gonna piss off a lot of people, Louboutin owners especially. 
I would personally put them into the trash category just because they're not up to par for what I would write, like out of a Louis Vuitton luxury shoe. Luxury shoes have to have certain criteria as far as recaptability. They'd have to have non-synthetic materials, at least on the parts that look like leather, like this here, that toe cap is synthetic. It's not real leather. So maintenance is gonna be a little bit harder and repairs are gonna be much, much harder, obviously. So we're gonna have to put these into the trash category. I'll grab my nifty pen and write trash. Sorry if you own a pair, sorry if you're watching and you're at Louboutin or your store carries Louboutin, but they're going to have to be trashed. But we've got other Louboutins that we'll talk about in the near future, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, and we'll see what other models out there might be trash or cash. So we'll see you next time.